Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, the good old people of the tube. Like I promised, all will be revealed today. I hope you're feeling better than I am, though, today, because I'm feeling like death. I don't know why I said it like that. Joe's behind the camera, everybody. Say hello, Joe. Hello. Everybody say hello to Joe. Um, yes, so, nothing as it seems video the other day. Why is it nothing as it seems? Because this is not a blues breaker. This is a blues faker by FA Guitar Cabs. This is their latest incantation amp, and I love it. This is a really cool thing. It's an MG100 uh, HDFX amp chassis mounted in a blues breaker box, which is one of the coolest looking amps in the world, and that is very fitting to be on top of the amp. So, um, let you know some of the specs quick. You can get this, just the cabinet with no amp in it for 210 pounds from FA Guitar Cabs, and I'll put their link in the description box below. So you can get this for 210 pounds without an amp, and then if you want the amp in it, mounted into it, the, the, you know, that'll depend on what amp you want in it. You can either have the MG100 HD effects, which I've got in now, or you can have the MG250 DFX, which is the stereo combo version. Um, this originally had the stereo, the, the, two, the 250 in it, but it was just a little bit too bright for my ear, because I've got dull ears. Um, and I, 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 don't know, I just didn't quite get on with it as well, and it didn't like my, it, it didn't like pedals and this, that, and the other. So, um, well, not, not, not to the sound I wanted, um, but, um, so I've changed it out for the MG100 HD effects, and that made me a lot more happy. So, but you can get it with either. Uh, two, it's a 2 by 12 cab, the speakers in here are just the Celestian 65 watt MG speakers, I think they're G12 65 MG, I think that's what they're called, and they're absolutely awesome, I love these old MG speakers, I reckon, they get a lot of bad press but I love them to bits, but um, yeah, anything else to add, other than it looks fantastic, and with a Les Paul, you're in Eric Clapton, Blues Breaker Heaven. Um, like I say, I'm not very well today, so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to go massive into detail, but I'm going to do a bit of playing. Just on Overdrive 1, uh, I'll get to another review on this amp as soon as I can, when I feel ten times better. And um, yeah, and I'll go into all the details and I'll, I'll use a Strat as well. I'm just going to show you OD1 today. Um, just to let you know, I've got the gain up all the way, I've got the bass all the way off, I've got mid at 4, I've got treble all the way off, contour all the way off, volume all the way up on 10, I've got reverb at 2, and I've got the volume at 1, and it's bloody loud at 1, I'll tell you! Anyway, further ado, let's play a bit more, let's play Joe's favourite riff. I hate it. Joe's favourite riff. <laughs> Thank you. 
just had the biggest piece of wood in his mouth. It's, it's like the size <laughs> of his face. Trying to eat it. Trying to play while Len's trying to eat wood. Len, you don't eat wood. But seriously, how good does that sound? How good does it look? I mean, Blues Breakers are probably one of the most gorgeous looking amps that's ever been made, really. He's eyeing up the tripod, I tell you. He's like, I don't like that tripod there. I'm going to move it. He's threatening me. He's threatening me. He's evil. But it does sound brilliant. It is heavy. It is a... As um, Mr. Andy from FA Guitar Cabs called it, it is a behemoth. It's absolutely huge and it is heavy. But you can't put a price on how cool that looks. It's so cool. And I love it to bits. And I've got to thank FA Guitar Cabs so much for this. I absolutely love it to bits. I'll save our links in the description box below. It sounds amazing. I literally don't know if I can play more as I feel like death. But like I said, you know, just for the enclosure, itself is 210 pounds if you want the amp that's just the added extra you'll have to contact andy depending on uh what uh, what F fa guitar cabs depending on what um uh amp you want in it by being by either the 250 or the 100 but it just sounds fantastic <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, Len decided to jump up onto the tripod, balanced himself like a surfer on top of the camera like this. And he just went like this and he just kicked the off button and turned the camera off. And then he stuck his <laughs> middle, port, middle finger up with his claw like that to me. And he jumped back off and now he's run back in there and he's grooming himself like nobody, like I, I don't care. I don't, I, don't, I don't care, I ruined your video, Dave. So. <laughs> Can't live with it. Can't live with it. Anyway. Yeah, anyway, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Turn it to river then. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video quickly. <laughs> it's make sure you haven't gone crazy. <laughs> anyway, um, Mr. Flibble is very cross. Um, yes, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little teaser video, but I thought I'd do a video today. I, just feel, I feel like death, but I had to show you what this thing is. It's not a valve amplifier, it's a Marshall MG and a Blues Break housing, and I am in heaven with it. I love it to pieces. It looks absolutely the, the bee's knees, like that. that. That there is just like, that's just classic, that is. That, that, this combination changed the world. Well, not an MG, but a Blues Breaker. But, uh, you know, thanks to Mr. Clapton. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, apart from me losing my mind and Len destroying the camera and, you know, <laughs> we'll have a fight later on, it'll be alright, we'll, we'll sort it out in the ring. Um, yeah, I'll see you again for another video very, very soon. My brain is unraveling so fast. I'm going to just read a off and do a blues thing for you quick. I hope I feel better soon, I feel weird. I feel ill. Uh, anyway, have a great morning, afternoon and evening. Sorry for the weird video.